Hello everybody, today we're looking at another useful game dev tool. So first things first, what exactly is Tilesetter? Tilesetter is a tool for automating the creation of tile sets. Specifically at the moment it can help you build the 47 tile blob sets used by me and many others in Game Maker, but also the 16 tile sets sometimes used in top down games and other types of things. You give it a bit of base artwork and it does the rest for you, it's pretty cool. The developer behind this tool got in touch a really long time ago and gave me access to a demo build. I sadly just never had a chance to check it out until very recently, but given it's coming out very soon, I think it'll be out when this video goes live eventually, uh, I thought it would be a good time to take a look, and I find myself wishing I had looked at this earlier because it turns out this tool could have saved me quite a lot of time, so let's get into it. You obviously need to provide uh, some artwork yourself for this tool, uh, but what Tilesetter does is it takes the art for your tiles main texture and overlapping art for edges and corners, and trims, rotates, and combines that artwork to create the full 47 tiles of all the edges and corner combinations that you need, or the full 16 tiles if you're doing one of those. Uh, this means you can build a whole tile set in Tileset with just a surface texture and one edge that will rotate around, as you can see. Uh, this is footage now of me generally trying to get to grips with the workflow after a tiny bit of practice and just reading some of the documentation. I've been copying and pasting directly from my art software, in this case Pixel Edit, and I can already tell that this tool would save me a whole lot of time in game jams where time spent on tasks like this is the most precious. You can customize quite a lot about how the combination works, determining pixel cutoff, rotation, and etc. It automatically creates corners for you with little diagonal slices through the artwork, but you can also create corner pieces by yourself to replace this composite style as has been demonstrated by the developer and various cute little gifs. It's a really helpful tool and I can certainly see it being a huge asset in jams and short projects um, just with its simplest application, simplest workflow. And you could certainly also use this as a starting point for other more complex tile sets um, that you just want to then go in and clean up or tweak the final result. I know I personally spend a lot of time just doing the basic, you know, uh, rotating corners around and synchronizing uh, the edges and surfaces of uh, tile sets like this, and it takes a really long time. And this makes that whole process take about five seconds. There's great workflow assistance in this tool too. As I said, I've been quickly copying and pasting changed artwork into the tool as I go along. And you can also create uh, sync groups to automatically update tiles as you save the base artwork files from which you're drawing your artwork. And that's really cool too. So you can set everything up and just spend most of your time just fl fl flipping back and forth between the two. So that means you can really quickly just flip back and forth between uh, your, your art software and tile setter just to see changes to the entire tile set by just drawing a couple of pixels. It's a really strong tool. And my only real gripe with it is its documentation. Uh, the site uh, lists a handful of topics for it in alphabetical order. Uh, it's a good site and they've got these little hover over tooltips that are really good, um, but there's not even so much as a quick start page. Uh, perhaps more is planned uh, for when it actually releases, as I say it should be released by the time this video comes out. There might be some more stuff, I don't know. Uh, but I had trouble getting going just by not knowing what anything did or what topics I should even be reading about first. And the tool itself feels slightly opaque in that it assumes a little bit of understanding about its concepts. What is in the documentation is good, uh, but it feels like it is serving as a reference to people who already know what they're looking for and might not help expose all of the tool's features to new users. I'm sure I've missed plenty of cool things that the tool can do. I was looking for a way to add extra layers to tile compositions. Uh, that doesn't seem to be a feature, but it's sort of hard to tell. <laughs> the documentation feels like a, a, there might be features that I, I'm missing, you know? Um, it almost feels like I might just be missing like a, a shortcut that does something hidden but really amazing, which reminds me of another certain piece of software. That aside, it did not take me long to get going with the the basic and most effective use of this um, this piece of software, which as I say, is just throwing some uh, quick artwork together and turning it into a massive fully functional tile set. I, I got to grips with that pretty quickly. So I do recommend this tool. It's about $13 on itch.io, which to me feels about right and a pretty good deal for what it offers. It is also on Steam, but I always recommend getting the itch.io version of anything if you can. Uh, better cuts for the developer, DRM free, etc. I think I'll be using this a whole bunch. Uh, the hours I've spent in game jams, as I said, simply rotating and combining tiles in this way, only makes me wish I'd have tried this thing out sooner. And the interface is super slick and pretty, and it's nice to look at, pleasant to use, really nice workflow, thumbs up.
So go check this out. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. So obviously, as you can tell, I'm now back in the country and I know you're all hankering for more tutorial content, but I have also just purchased a house. So uh, unfortunately, I am still a bit preoccupied, but I thought this was a cool tool worth reviewing. So I hope you enjoyed this one as well. Uh, thank you all for your patience, especially the patience of my Patreon supporters who are all scrolling past now. Thank you all so much. They get some cool little benefits. Uh, if you like the sound of those benefits, you like the sound of keeping me doing what I'm doing, maybe consider becoming one of these cool Patreons. Um, otherwise, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, just doing all the regular YouTube stuff, the liking, the subscribing, all that stuff helps me out as well. So thank you very much. Thank you, of course, in particular and in no particular order to Owen Morgan, Stephen Hagen, Bowser the Dog, Zenan May, Michael Ward, Robert Churches, Rovan Darlin, Kimo Savalampi, Run, Zephyr Flame, Daka Dondigo, Max M, Bertie T, Giles Montgomery, Joseph Wetmore, Relentless Rex, Cromulent Studios, Timothy Hamilton, Do What Doobie, Travis Womack, T. Lesson, Jason, James Siggins, Gabe, James L. Anderson, Shogo0410, Pierce, Hare, Darkrider0318, Victor Stewart, Hyungjin, Rupinda, Rene Dam, Samian, Yaya Legaglo, Lemon Escape, Animation Spirit, and Zachary Locke. Thank you all ever so much, and I'll catch you all next time.